thousands of people across the Bay Area without power tonight. Let's take a look at where uh, some of the worst hit areas are in the North Bay right now in the Healdsburg area. We're zooming in here. This uh, yellow indicates anywhere from 50 to nearly 500 customers are without power. This is a PG&E power outage map. As we scroll down here, we're going to go into Marin County, the Novato area. We saw some outages there earlier. Looks like most of that has dissipated, but there are still some spots where anywhere from 1 to 50 customers are dealing with power outages there as well. Let's go over to the East Bay now. We're in the orange area just west of Pleasant Hill. We have anywhere from 500 to 5,000 customers without power. And also in the Concord area, they're dealing with that problem as well. But the big problem spot right now, also in the East Bay, the border between Alameda and Contra Costa counties, San Ramon has anywhere from 5,000 people plus without power right now. And also in the Dublin area, they're experiencing some issues. And that's where we find Crown Force Jack Mulman tonight with uh, more on what Dublin is dealing with right now. Jack. Oh yeah, that's right, Dan. Here in Dublin, I'm standing near one of its busiest intersections here. That's Dublin Boulevard and San Ramon Road. If you look behind me here, you can see those lights are flashing. Now, that already looks confusing for a lot of drivers having to slow down, look where they're going during this power outage. But just about half an hour ago, those lights were absolutely pitch black. And that's what led us to seeing uh, an accident actually happen here on this really busy intersection. Now, video from earlier today, you could see that happen there. Now, Dublin Police did confirm with us there was a driver that hit a person as they were crossing the road. Uh, that person was treated there on scene. The driver stopped. We, we were able to film some of that, showing the driver uh, answering some questions there by police. And um, the, the person who was hit, they were treated there on scene and released. That person didn't have to go to the hospital. They had just minor injuries there. But just some real confusion for the drivers here and really creating some treacherous and dangerous scenes here. But also earlier today in San Ramon, Dan, as you mentioned, still so many people without power there. People were there at the shopping center, the, Diab the Diablo uh, shopping center there. They were at the Safeway, the CVS, liquor store. All of them were just closed. People looking to escape the heat. There were no solutions, though, because everything was closed. And here's what they had to say. Yeah, it could be if it's hot and if the power outage is even worse. We don't have a gener generator or anything like that. So, I mean, we have a baby at home, so it could be. So we are just worried about, like, you know, it could be worse. Uh, we just came out for the dinner, so no power in our house. So we just came out for the dinner, so with the kids. <laughs> and uh, what's happening here? <laughs> no power here also. <laughs> so we just uh, thought of getting from uh, the apps just like uh, DoorDash or uh, something else. <laughs> I was going to say, I appreciate the pg e workers that are outside, Amen. but I don't understand how, like every other day in a heat wave, we lose our power. And that's... Now, everybody you just heard from, we went ahead and asked them when they are expected to get their power back on. They tell us they've received different answers from PG&E. Some said they've even had their power already back on. Some said they're expecting to wait until tomorrow. But, Dan, as you mentioned, that San Ramon area still experiencing such a, a vast array of people who are without their power. But there are signs of hope with these lights that are coming back on and those people who told me that their power is turning back on slowly as well. But, again, just a reminder, we have so many more days of this heat wave that is just rolling through the Bay Area, and this is just the first day of it.